Hey guys, Amy here. So in this um, design space tutorial, we are going to be talking about just making some new image images with just shapes that you have for free within design space. So if you don't have Cricut access or a subscription plan to some other site, then you might be buying a lot of images and things like that. Or if you kind of think outside the box, you might be able to design a bunch of the stuff within design space, which is using the shapes and the editing tools. So within the shapes here, you have a bunch of free shapes that you don't need Cricut access for. And with these, you can, with using the welding, the unite, the subtract, you can actually make a bunch of different things. So let's um, just use a circle here. So with a circle, um, you can make a super easy thing like Mickey Mouse ears by I'm going to duplicate this one, make it smaller. I know I have another video that kind of shows you how to do this too, an ear like that. And then I'm just going to duplicate it by clicking on this right side up here, putting it over here. And then I'm going to select both of these smaller circles by clicking on one, holding my shift and clicking on the other one. And then to make sure that they're aligned, they're going to come up on the align and align it to, let's say, the top. Okay, so then I'm going to grab all of these together, come back into the combine, and either select weld or unite. You might remember from one of my last videos that the unite, they're pretty much the same thing, but the unite gives you the ability to undo it if you want to. Or weld, once you do it, it's stuck that way. So I'm just going to click Unite, and there you have like a Mickey Mouse. Okay, say so you want to make like a monogram um, with, with this. We can add another circle in here. Mm, let's just make it a different color so we can see it easier. And make this big enough. We are just going to do this by eyeballing it. Okay, so once I have it kind of where I want, I'm going to drag my cursor over both and come over here. And under my combine, I'm going to hit subtract. So this is going to cut out whatever is over overlapping my top layer, which is my red one. Okay, so now we have that there. Um, and you can put a monogram in it. Say we want to kind of cut the the bottom off right about here to just have the ears say I'm going to insert a shape let's grab a rectangle and again I'm just going to make it a different color so we can see it and okay so I just want it to cut off right there okay so so this is my top layer Okay, so again, I'm just going to select all by clicking this button and down here. Again, we're going to hit the subtract button. Okay, and that cuts out and now we have those. Okay, so lots of ways you can just use the shapes that are given to you to design things once you start playing around with it. Let's do another kind of easy thing. Let's say we want to make a wheel. Okay, we're going to insert a circle here. I'm going to duplicate this, make it just a tad bit smaller. And I'll change this just so we can see it a little bit better. Depends on how thick we want our wheel to be. Okay, and with these ones, I'm going to cent use my align tools and center, center. Okay, and I'm going to combine and we're going to subtract this one. So now I'm just, that will be my outline of my wheel. And then say, we're going to put this in here for the hubcap. I'm going to center and center these. And since I don't want these to move around, I'm going to come up and group these right now. Okay, and then we're going to add some spokes. So let's just grab a rectangle here. I'm going to click this to unlock it so I can make it long and skinny. 
And let's turn that around like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to duplicate a few of these so they're all the same size. And then rotate. Okay, we'll get one more by duplicating. You know, so I'm not really centering them and doing all this just because I want to kind of give you a quick idea of things that you can do. You can even make this line one really long line so you don't have to do the six separate ones. But once I have that, I can come and select it all. And then again, come down in my combine tool and weld that together. Okay, so now we have just one image that is wheel looking. Okay, so there's a lot of, you know, kind of simple designs and things you can make just by using those free shapes that are over here on that left side over here. Okay, so just grab some in. Um, you can even kind of sketch something and just kind of try to visualize and what kind of shapes that you can use that for. And then using the subtract and all these different new tools over here, try to, 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 to design something. Okay, so I hope that kind of opened up, inspired you a little bit to kind of think about different things that you can make just with simple things in here. And make sure you hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss any of my Cricut tutorials. And I hope you have a great day.